go. Mirror bow to the face, though. I drunk text J-Lo. Bailey oh, Coleman so in back. for Denise Boy, as we welcome back. you back to Truth Be Told with DT and Telly on this Wednesday morning. We have been discussing Governor Tony Evers signing a bar bipartisan bill designed to prevent Milwaukee bankruptcy, even though it doesn't sound that way. And the true talking text line has been lighting up. Let's hit the text. Craig says further taking more of Milwaukee's money supports surrounding areas when our schools and areas need the increased revenue. We're already sending way too much money outward and it all needs to be reversed. Those surrounding areas should be supporting Milwaukee. That is so true. Mm -hmm. That is so true. Now, remember, you want to get in on our toll-free talk and text line. The number is 833-212-1017. This from the caller. Camp Rise is a program that employs children ages 10 to 13. Listen up, moms and dads. Activities include exploring future careers, learning hands-on skills, leadership development, and city beautification. Kids can earn up to $1,400 during the summer in a safe, productive program. I found that to be positively Milwaukee. I know that's right. Me too. So make sure you camp rise. Yes. Write it down. Yes. C-A-M-P rise. R-I-S-E. Two separate words. Look it up. Google it. Find out that info for your kid. I mean, we need to get the... We really need to get our kids engaged. Yes, yes, absolutely. And Mayor Cavalier Johnson is trying to do that when he, when he announced there is a new youth program website designed to help kids become more active and involved. And, and it, when you're doing that, there's less time to think about other things that you shouldn't be doing. Right, so. the, ne the negativities. But I'll also tell you that it helps the kids gain skills and learn how to act yes. when they're out doing these different things. And the responsibility of having a job at that early age can only benefit them. Yes. Aramore says on our True Talk and Text line, you can always hit us up, 833-212-1017. Aramore says they also hate Milwaukee and downplay us supporting them. So a lot of thoughts and comments coming in. Let's head to our Truth Talk line. Mel, you are on Truth Be Told with DT and Telly. Bailey in for DT, of course. Good morning. Good morning to you, and uh, don't mind my voice uh, just getting over it back. So, um, this is it's very personal to me. Um, I'm a mother of two, and I raised both my kids. So unfortunately, I've lost my, but my only son was taken from me in 2018. But with that said, both children went to public education. I'm big on public education. Uh, public education is where I learn civic duty, uh, constructive debating, uh, summer programs, summer work programs. Uh, so it, at the end of the day, this is a bigger picture. This is a, an attack not only on our youth, um, on our intelligence, on our education, on our independent critical thinking. Um, we are all here coming from different backgrounds, and that's what America is about. I don't understand how we can even debate the racism in these policies. The fact of the matter is that the threat is white extremist, supremacist, domestic, terroristic ideology. Terroristic ideology does not always have to be violent, but the violence and the terrorism comes with the form of taking away education, take, banning books, taking away our right, our woman's right to choose. And besides that, our privacy. So at some point, you're right. This is my first time listening to the show, but you're absolutely right. The young lady was saying that the parents do need to rise up. My child, my daughter is grown. I have three beautiful grandkids that I'm so concerned about. Two females and one male. But with that said, we all need to understand the attack is against all of us. And we need to rise up now. Fascism is slowly creeping and is blatant as hell. When we had 
a wannabe dictator in Trump, showing us his criminalities plain sight, and we're just sitting back acting as if shit is normal. This needs to stop. We need to rise up as a country. Okay. I'm originally a New Yorker, and honestly, this not this nine eleven feeling needs to needs to stop. Yeah. Well, Mel, we appreciate your call and your passion about this. Yeah, absolutely. Is this, yes. And um, first time caller and first time listener. Appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. And uh, that's what we we want to know what you're thinking and what you're feeling and what should be done, because clearly we did not get a law that is favorable for Milwaukee. And it's not just as simple as uh, we're going to. Uh, raise local taxes and you have the ability to raise your local tax, whatever you want it to be mm-hmm. like the, it, it is so much more than that. And how much it is going to affect things in the future? Like it's a reason why Governor Evers called this an historic bill. Right. It was. <laughs> it's not just any law that I mean, any bill that comes by is like, oh, you know, this is going to change history. No, this is really going to change the trajectory of Milwaukee. Now, I know that Republicans are looking at it as it's going to change it in a positive way fiscally. For the suburbs. For the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. There's yeah. a lot. And, and the thing is, we know with, with policies and politics, honestly, Bailey, things don't change until it affects the lawmakers. That's very true. And the uh, what we need to say, though, and be very clear about that in defense of uh, Mayor Johnson and Governor Evers, this was a situation that they yeah. inherited. Yes. I mean, uh, 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 you know, our former mayor, he jumped out. <laughs> he was just like, I'm out. This is going to be too much. I got to go. Barrett said it was great, Milwaukee. But peace out. But peace out. Yeah. I got a chance. I can yeah. I can go over here and do something else because y'all got a headache coming up. Yeah. Y'all gonna be over the cliff. No, and for y'all sure. ain't finna put me under the bus because yeah. you're over the cliff. Yeah. But it was a situation that even he inherited. Mm-hmm. So kudos to them on trying to figure out a way to fix it because the whole pension mess. Yes, yes. And we don't even want to go down as as Ben like to say that rabbit hole because oh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a whole nother can of worms there. But uh, we're we're talking about Governor Evers signing uh, the bill that uh, basically it gives everyone in Milwaukee, I mean, excuse me, the state of Wisconsin, the ability to raise local taxes. And yes. um, but is it's so much deeper than that because once again. There are so many programs that will be affected by funds not being allocated to them. As a matter of fact, the UW Madison president warns campus closures, tuition hikes, if GOP cuts budget. Now, you know, <sighs> that, hey. that, that, like, once again, now I, I, I mentioned that this won't really affect lawmakers until. It hits home. Right. This can hit home when their kids want to go to UW Madison and there may be a program that they want to be involved in right. that no longer exists. Well, you know what? Oh, well, because in these high schools and everything, they cut the music programs, the act, you know, all that extracurricular stuff. Yep. But I tell you where you can find that extracurricular stuff. At the suburbs. Oh, you, at, I, at the at the private schools that's going to get more money? Right. Oh, okay. You, okay, you my find, bad. You can find them there. My bad, so. yeah. I, voucher I, schools. I thought that's what you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. They, they got all that. They got all that. <laughs> they got all that. You you know what? If y'all really want to uh, uh, switch the game up, move out of the city. Rent your place in the city. Move out of the city. Move to the suburbs. Go ahead and move out to Brookfield or something. Give them a little love out there. Oh, my god! Your baby be in better programs. They Ooh. might have to deal with a little racism. I mean, let's Just be a tad. Real. Just a tad. Just a tad. Be real. You know, everybody ain't, everybody ain't ready for you. 
But you all out there. But you will be protected. You will be. Protected. You'll have resource officers and yes. and, and, and um, the brand new textbooks yes, and uh, hey, clean they, hallways they, and everything. They got computers out there. Wow. No rats out there. Come None. on, y'all. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no. Like I and, and like you said, I I do appreciate and respect where Mayor Cavalier Johnson is in this situation, inheriting what he had to inherit and just trying to get the best deal he could possibly get. But honestly, when you look at all of this, there could have been some stances, once again, some non-negotiables that you could have stood on and... can we call him up and see if we can just get... Well, we had him on on last right. Friday. I, I mean, don't know if... He, he's a friend of the show now, y'all, so... Uh, right. y'all, friend, I'm just, <laughs> y'all friends with him. Can we just give him a call and say, yo, <laughs> can we get a little, you know, maybe uh, uh, send the pest control people out to... Uh, uh, to as, North Division, can we get that going on? What look, can we do? Look here, Bailey. Look. As they say, the ink <laughs> has dried. And so <laughs> that is a law now. I don't know what he can do now. But uh, <laughs> but we can holler at him if you want. <laughs> but, yeah, he even said it when we talked to him that, um, you know, it is it is not what he had hoped for, but this is the best way to get the city out of the situation that it is in. We know how much you are loving this morning's conversation. If you missed any of it, remember, you can always go back and listen by downloading the Truth Be Told podcast sponsored by Gruber Law Offices on multiple platforms. The 1017 The Truth app can be found on Spotify, TuneIn, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. More. Truth Be Told with DT and Telly on the other side of the break. Truth Be Told with DT and Telly returns after this on 1017 The Truth, The Truth app, and 1017thetruth.com.